Hi, Rick Lineker here. We're going to use C++ to create a real simple text-based guessing game. So let me go ahead and create a new project. And it will be the typical Win32 console app. I'll call it Guess Game. And finish up. Now we usually don't include anything else besides this STD AFX at the top, but we have to include two new things right now. We need to include Windows.h, and there's a function there um, called get tick count that we're going to use. And then we need to include stdlib.h, and that has the random number stuff. Okay, so first let's create a variable called random number. And now we need to do what's called seeding the random number generator. The random numbers in um, C++ will follow the very same pattern every time you run the program. So what we do is we seed it with the srand function so that it's, it's going to be a different number and you never know what, what you're going to get. And we use the function called get tick count to pass in something from the system. Now, please notice get tick count has a capital G, a capital T, and a capital C. If you don't do it right, it won't work. Now we're going to go ahead and get a random number. Now this is um, bitwise math here, and this class does not really go into bitwise math very much, or really not at all, but we're going to go ahead and use it. So if you don't understand it, don't worry about it. Just roll with it. Uh, and then we're going to add one. So Without adding one, we have number from 0 to 31, but we want to go ahead and add one so we have numbers from 1 to 32. Um, there are other numbers you can use. You can't just go ahead and pick any number there. They all have to be, um, the, the bits to the rightmost have to be all contiguous. So the numbers you can actually use there are 1, 3, 7, 15, 31, 63, 127, and so forth. Um, like, for instance, 15, if you plugged 15 into here, you get numbers from 1 to 16. Um, 7, you get numbers from 1 to, 1 to 8, so forth. So you can change this around if you really want to. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to use a do while loop to control this. So we're going to do this while something. Okay, which reminds me, we need to go back up here and declare a variable for the user's guess. Okay, so we are going to do this while the user's guess does not equal random number. Okay, so as long as their guess is not the random number, we're going to continue to do this. Okay, so let's give a little introduction. Printf. This is a guessing game where you will guess. Break to another line number from 1 to 32. And if you change that uh, number up here, just make sure you change these instructions here. Okay, so let's go ahead and say printf, please enter a number from 1 to 32. And let's do our typical scanf and the user's yes. Okay. Now this program will actually run at this point. I'm going to run it. It's not going to be a very good program, but let's go ahead and run it and talk about what we need to add to make it a decent program. Okay, add a, please enter a number, 16, 4, 5, um, 88, and so forth. Okay. So um, eventually, you realize this program doesn't work very well because it doesn't give you any kind of user feedback. Okay, so let's go ahead and give the user some feedback. If the user's guess is greater than random number, right? Because when you do a guessing game with someone, what you do is you say, oh, that's too high or that's too low or whatever. We're going to tell them if their guess is greater than the number that was produced by the random number gener generator, we're going to say that number was too high. Okay. We 
You also need to give them some feedback if it's too low. Do a little copy and paste here so that I can save a little effort and time because these YouTube videos can only be 10 minutes. That number was too low. Now they have the feedback that they need. Compile. Let's run it. Okay, 16. Too low. 20. Okay, so it must have been 20. But the problem is it doesn't tell me I got it right. So let's add one more piece of feedback down here. Let's say, French F. Congratulations. You got it. Okay, now let's see if that's a little bit better. Okay, we'll go to the typical too low, 20. I got it. Got it. Um, it was 20 again. That's interesting. Let's see. Okay, uh, that's that's very strange that uh, we happen to have it be 20 twice in a row. Okay, the next thing we want to add to this is the number of guesses. Now, I want to be very clear here. If you don't initialize this to zero right here, your program will crash. Okay, so every time they make a guess, we're going to say the number of guesses plus plus okay and we'll give them a little more feedback you got it in percent D guesses the number of guesses okay run this guy let's see 16 once again that's too high Eight, too high, four, too low, six. Okay, congratulations. Oh, go got it. I have a misspelling there. You got it in four guesses, so let me see. You. That's embarrassing to make a mistake like that on public YouTube. Anyway, um, what you need to do now is try your hand at this. Do the exact pattern. Once you get this right, you can experiment a little bit with the numbers. Anyway, have fun, and I'll talk to you later.